If you've been following my recent Game Boy Advance SP videos, then you know it has been a goal of mine to bring modern conveniences to this console. It initially started with wireless charging, but there is one feature I thought would be really neat to include, and that is Bluetooth audio. As you know, the SP removed the 3.5mm jack which came standard on the AGB and instead employed a proprietary port in order to use headphones. Adding Bluetooth will allow you to use wireless headphones and also the ability to stream to external speakers. Let's get right into it. Hey everyone, how's it going? My name is Tito and welcome to another episode of Retro Renew. Today, we're gonna to be adding Bluetooth audio capability to this Game Boy Advance SP. Now, this is something I've been wanting to do for a long time now. While I have seen online Bluetooth mods for various Game Boy consoles, I haven't found a good tutorial on how to actually perform the mod. Now, in order to figure out how to do this, I enlisted the help of my friend Kyle. If you remember, Kyle also helped me design the SP expansion cover, which adds space to the SP for mods just like this. If you haven't seen that video, you can check it out by clicking on the card at the top of your screen or in the link in the description below. Be sure to check out Kyle on Instagram as well at Brinkeroff Systems. He does some really amazing work, so definitely take a look. Also, I want to announce that Kyle and I are working on a really awesome project for the Game Boy Advance SP. I'm really excited about it, but I don't want to give too much away, so make sure you're subscribed to the channel with notifications turned on so you don't miss out on that episode. Alright, back to the Bluetooth mod. So I'll be doing this on my Game Boy Advance SP with the expansion cover installed. This will give me more than enough space to install both the Bluetooth module as well as a momentary switch needed to activate pairing mode. And as you already know, this SP also has wireless charging installed. While I am utilizing the space provided by the expansion cover, the Bluetooth module we'll be using is small enough to be installed within the actual Game Boy Advance SP shell, either at this location shown here or in the LCD portion of the shell. The advantage of using the expansion cover is that you won't need to modify the Game Boy Advance shell, making this mod completely reversible. Great, so let's go over all the items you'll need for this mod. First, you'll need this KCX Bluetooth emitter. This small chip is central to making this mod work. You can purchase this on AliExpress for around 5 bucks. Next, you'll need some very thin magnet wire. This will allow us to easily route the wires throughout the console so we can place the Bluetooth module where we need it to be. I'll also be using some 200 grit sandpaper in order to strip the magnet wire, but that'll become more clear once we begin the installation. And lastly, you'll need a small momentary switch. I bought a kit which includes an assortment of these very useful switches for about 14 bucks on Amazon. I'll have links to this kit as well as all the items needed for this mod in the description below. Alright, so that about covers everything. And without any further ado, let's get right into it. To get started, remove the four Phillips screws securing the expansion cover. Then remove the battery and the tri-point screw below it as well as the one by the cartridge slot. Then carefully maneuver the rear SP shell out of the way to expose the motherboard. For now, set aside the SP. Next, we need to prep the wires for this mod. Cut seven strands of magnet wire, each at around nine inches in length. This will give us plenty to work with. Using the sandpaper, remove the enamel coating on one end of each wire. Make sure to strip the enamel just at the tip as shown here. Bringing our attention back to the motherboard, remove the three Phillips screws.
Gently lift out the motherboard and release the tabs securing the LCD ribbon cable to remove it. Now we're going to add some solder to these two points here. Pre-tin the test pads labeled SO1 and SO2. This is where we'll be getting our left and right audio signal. Then solder a single wire to each pad. And this is what it should look like. Route the two wires to the top of the motherboard as shown, then secure it in place with some Kapton tape. Be sure to label each wire so we can identify it later when we're soldering to the Bluetooth emitter module. Now go ahead and reinstall the LCD ribbon cable back into the motherboard. Then reinstall the motherboard back into the SP shell, securing it in place with the three Phillips screws. Now we're going to tap 5 volts of power from pin 1 of the link port. To aid in wetting the solder, gently scratch the pin surface. Then pre-tin it with some solder. Do the same to the ground shielding of the link port, then add some solder. Go ahead and solder one wire to pin 1, and then solder three wires to the ground shielding. I twisted the wires together to make this step easier. This is what pin 1 should look like, and here are the three ground wires. Go ahead and label these wires as well. Now feed all the wires and their labels through the hole in the SP shell that we made for the wireless charger. Then gently put the SP shell back into place. And fasten the tri-point screw in the battery compartment. Go ahead and slide the labels down so they are out of the way and then cut all the wires to the same length and strip the ends to prep them for soldering. We're going to start by soldering the SO2 wire to the pad labeled IN underscore R. Then solder S01 to IN underscore L. Next solder the pin 1 5 volt wire to the pad labeled positive 5V. Now we're going to solder the ground wires. Solder any one of the ground wires to the pad labeled A, G, and D. And then solder another ground wire to P, G, and D. Great, now solder a new wire to the pad labeled C, O, N. This is what the Bluetooth emitter should look like. Next, make a small hole for the momentary switch. I'll be using my craft knife to accomplish this.
Once the hole is large enough, go ahead and position the switch in place, then use some hot glue to secure it. Now we can position the Bluetooth emitter chip inside the expansion cover as shown here. I positioned it with the LED facing outward so we can see it illuminate through the shell. Next, shorten the wire coming from the pad CON and then solder it to one of the legs on the switch. Then solder the last remaining ground wire to the other leg. And this is what it should look like. Tape down the wires to keep them in place. Reinsert the SP battery, and then position the expansion cover back onto the SP. And finally, secure the cover in place with the four Phillips screws. Now, in order to pair the SP to a Bluetooth device, turn it on and set your Bluetooth device into pairing mode. Then hold the momentary switch for a few seconds until it pairs to your device. Fantastic. All right, I am super happy with how this turned out. Using the SP expansion cover really made this installation a bit easier and now I can play my Game Boy Advance while using my Bluetooth headphones, which is really awesome. Now, one thing to take note of is that the volume of the audio going to your Bluetooth device is controlled by the device itself and not the Game Boy Advance SP. The volume on the SP will be on even though it is connected to your Bluetooth device. In other words, once your device is paired to the SP, you can simply turn the volume all the way down and you will still be able to listen to the audio through your paired Bluetooth device. Okay, just like always, let's go over the pros and cons. The first pro really involves the SP expansion cover. It makes this mod just a little easier since we really don't need to worry about space and it allows this mod to be completely reversible. Installing this mod into the original SP shell would have required us to make some modifications to the SP's original shell. The next pro is increased versatility. Before this mod, one would have to either use an adapter to convert the link port to a 3.5mm jack, or buy headphones with a proprietary link port connector. This mod eliminates that and allows you to use your favorite wireless headphones. And the last pro is the wireless technology itself and the convenience it brings. While some may prefer wired headphones, I am a huge fan of the benefits that come with Bluetooth headsets. Okay, let's go over the cons. I'd have to say the first con is that this mod is definitely not for beginners. There is some pretty fine soldering required, and the magnet wire isn't the easiest to handle. Next, I found that it can be a little tricky to pair devices to this module, at least initially, and it really depends on each unique Bluetooth device. I've had pretty good luck with pairing my Sony WH-1000XM2 headphones, and Kyle was able to pair both of his Sony MDR headphones as well as an Anker Soundcore Bluetooth speaker. So while Kyle and I were able to get this to work on our Bluetooth devices, compatibility may vary slightly. And lastly, I'm not a huge fan of hot glue. Both Kyle and I are looking into better ways to incorporate these mods that will not rely on glue or tape. So be sure to stay tuned to the channel for any future updates to this mod. All right, besides those cons, I think this is a really solid mod, which makes the SP a little more standardized when it comes to listening to audio through headphones. There is no longer a need for a dongle or proprietary headphones, and you can enjoy your SP with your favorite wireless headset. So there you have it, a Bluetooth audio mod for the Game Boy Advance SP. What did you guys think? Do the pros outweigh the cons? Is this something you plan on doing to your Game Boy Advance SP? Let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. I hope you did enjoy this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel. You can find me on Facebook and Instagram at Macho Nacho Productions. I release content every Thursday, so be sure to turn on notifications. And as always, we'll see you next time.